Lift Aesthetics in Essex offer to enhance your confidence with cosmetic fillers. They advertise the liquid Brazilian butt lift where hundreds of milliliters of filler is injected. The clinic uses discount deals and celebrity endorsements to attract customers. So I've now finished the bum. Like Kelly Crease, who booked in for the BBL and breast enhancement through Lift Aesthetics, though she was later told her procedure was carried out by a different company called Non-Surgical Clinics Essex. They're playing with people's lives. That really is what they're doing. Two days after her breast appointment, Kelly began to feel feverish and disorientated. Then by about 9pm that night, we had to phone an ambulance and I was rushed straight in to hospital. They said if I'd have probably stayed at home that night and didn't go in, then I probably wouldn't have been here. There is currently no regulation that covers the whole aesthetics industry and no law stating practitioners must have a certain level of training. ITV News went undercover to expose how those with no healthcare qualifications are attending one-day courses to learn how to inject filler into the bum. A lack of regulation here has earned the UK an unenviable reputation. I think the best description of the UK is the Wild West. Anything goes. We have a, a plethora of individuals with no medical background, no understanding of anatomy, no understanding of surgery or sterility performing these procedures for cut price uh, opportunities, uh, advertising heavily with no one able to act on that or feeling able to act on that because, the, because of the lack of legislation. The government has plans to bring in a traffic light system where green procedures have the lowest risk of complications and could be carried out by all practitioners. These include semi-permanent makeup and certain laser hair removal. Amber or medium risk procedures could be done by non-healthcare professionals who are overseen by a regulated health professional and include Botox and face fillers. The red procedures have the highest risk of complications and could only be carried out by qualified and regulated healthcare professionals in approved premises. These include breast and buttock fillers. Yes, we don't have the, the right regulations here in the UK, but we are addressing that. And I would urge uh, those in the industry to help us with that. But this is a wider global problem and we have our big concern is we tighten it here in the UK and then more people will go overseas. But the government admits these new laws could be two years away. Until then, some will continue selling confidence but delivering damaging results. Well, Ellie, since uh, we played your report yesterday, which I think put a lot of us off our food if we were eating, um, you've had a lot of other people getting, uh, getting in touch, haven't you? Since that went out yesterday, Mary, we've had multiple people get in touch with us and say and allege that they've had very similar experiences to the ones that we've put out this evening and last night of procedures that they've booked through Lift Aesthetics and have been carried out by Non-Surgical Clinics Essex. Both of them have been in touch with us tonight as well. Non-Surgical Clinics Essex has told us that all of our clients are aware of the risks during a pre-consultation before treatment and agree by signing a consent form. We have completed hundreds of body filler treatments without any complications where proper aftercare has been followed. Once a client leaves the clinic, we do not have control over what they do, such as taking their prescribed antibiotics and following set aftercare. Both women we've interviewed refute that and Lift Aesthetics say that since our broadcast yesterday we've terminated our working relationship with non-surgical clinics Essex. I should just quickly say that Katie Price didn't respond to our uh, request for a comment and the clinic that we went undercover at VVV said that they adhere and respect the law. Okay, Ellie, thank you for that.